Uh, uh, so we'll take some uh, the roll call now. Marilyn Claire. Uh, what am I answering to? Uh, are you here? Hi, I'm here. Awesome. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. I finally figured it out. Emma Emma Cornwell. I think I'm she's still here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Emma. There you are. Hi Emma. Uh -huh. Um, Linda Kakos. Here. Hello. Rodney Kunas. Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Good to see you. Counselor Mary on the barge. Here. Kathy Mary. Here. Uh, Michael Morton. I don't know if he's here yet. I do not think he's here yet, but he usually, he often comes a little bit after we start, so yeah. he'll probably be here. Yeah. Okay, um, so our first uh, item on the agenda Can you hear me? is, oh, Can hey, Michael, me? oh, you are here. Hey, Michael. I, I, pressed, I pressed star only to get the, the thing to unmute, and I should have pressed star six, so I'm in the meeting now. Oh, that's, oh, great, great to, great to hear from you. Oh, good, yes, thank you. Okay, um, so our first item is public comments. Do we have anyone that would like to speak? Okay. Anyone? Okay. Okay. Our, our next item on the agenda is approval of the previous minutes from last meeting of uh, January 10th, 2023. I second that. Okay. Uh, we do roll call now. Um, um, so we'll do um, Marilyn Claire. Do you approve the minutes from last month? Okay. Emma? Yes. Linda? Yes. Rodney? Um, Councilor LaBarge? Yes. Kathy Murray? Yes. And Michael Morton, do you approve? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, we're going to, uh, the next um, thing that, that we're going to discuss is <coughs> making it, making it, oh, bless you. Was that a sneeze? I thought I heard a sneeze. Okay, uh, we're going to discuss making city resolution uh, to proclaim July as Disability Pride Month in Northampton. And Keith, did you have an update on that? Uh, this is Councilor Barge's idea, so um, I will let her um, run with it, but I'm happy to take it over um, if she doesn't want to be put on the spot. Cool. No, well, I, I think... I don't well, mind being put on the spot. Okay, cool. Sponsors are put on the spot a lot. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyways, um, I thought it was something that is extremely valuable to put in a resolution. Why not? As counselors, there's many resolutions that come in and there are many, many proclamations that come forth through the mayor's office. So I think that if we do our research, we could look for other cities or states, whatever, if they do a resolution of what we're looking for. And I don't see why it can't be done. Looking oh. at the calendar for the month of July, we only have one city council meeting for the month of July. All right, which I think it's July 6th, Keith, which is our last city council meeting for the month of July. So that's the date. If not June 15th, you could present it. That's the last meeting in June. Yeah, I think uh, June or the previous month uh, probably the best idea, um, so we can um, make sure it's done prior to our our July event uh, to watch the movie. Right, and and I also think that with Brian at the at the um, Forbes Library probably would be excellent to work with 
of getting the research and putting the language together in the resolution. And I would highly suggest that our ADA coordinator and Jeremy being the chair of coming to city council to present it. And any members who want to attend it also. Can I ask a question about this? Because I've done proclamations before where basically we took a draft, then it to the mayor's office, and then the mayor basically approves it and makes it into a proclamation and brings it to the meeting. Sounds like you're talking about the committee. It's different. 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 Okay, that's what I'm checking. Okay, Kathy, yeah. a proclamation is strictly done through the mayor. Okay. We're looking at a resolution here. Okay. All right. That's what I was city wondering. councilors, okay, help whoever in the city bring it forth. Okay. Thanks for okay. clarifying that. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, Keith. Yeah, that sounds great. Sounds great to me. I'll, I'll definitely be there to help out. Okay. Yeah. So maybe Jeremy, you could set it up also um, with Brian. I think that's his name, Brian. Brian? Oh, you mean Ben from ben. the library? Yes, thank you. Yes, I think Ben is here, yeah. You yes, know? and I can help. Awesome, thank you, Ben. So just thank you. Be in touch with me sooner rather than later about what you need so that uh, I have time to do it. Yes, because it Excellent. will take some time to do it. Uh, Jeremy, uh, are you going to work with Ben to craft the resolution language, or are you just working on the? Um, I, I missed that part. Excuse me. I guess just whatever is needed of me. Like I could do either. Okay. What? Yeah. Whatever. Because I can, I can look at language and get a draft going. Um, okay. Cool. That'd be perfect. That sounds great. Okay, um, move on, moving on to updates from the city. Um, we're starting with the public service announcement that we've been working on for snow removal in Northampton. Um, Keith and I put together some footage where I rode out um, in my electric wheelchair and um, there were some trouble, troublesome spots with snow that wasn't removed from some areas and he filmed me trying to get around in those areas. And uh, we sent the, the footage to Northampton Open Media, and they are edit editing it and putting the footage together. Uh, Keith, did you have an update on that? Yeah, so I, I don't think there was enough. Um, I mean, it was so long ago when we had snow, right? Um, so I don't think there is the amount of uh, video footage that we had. I mean, if we really want something like blizzard you know the planet hoth star wars looking you know uh we don't have that type of uh video yet um so and, you don't think it was like it, it looked it didn't look quite snowy enough is that what you're yeah about? i mean it, it was you know we had two scenes where it was um you know you know you and the on the side on the on the wheelchair so um you know i think we need to try to either get a video again where some some better type of snow or um you know maybe we pull from other videos or something which i have no experience doing okay um, yeah so i guess if there's another <laughs> snow also if there's another snowstorm this winter we could consider trying again yeah or... um and you know luckily we've i guess we've been not having any snow um <laughs> <laughs> but right yeah i mean uh, lucky for wheelchair users Yes, right. that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, but the language is good. Uh, you know, like a good draft of the the language, um, and then uh, so uh, I did reach out again to see what next steps were because you know I I don't know how to edit those type of things, but um, yeah, we'll continue working on it. Um, I have uh, some friends that could help if you need any help. I don't do that myself, but if you need, yeah, if, if, if you know, if you want to find you know, nondescript snow locations, um, you know, not something that's specifically Times Square or something, okay. uh, but maybe has a mixture of both downtown and residential, because we're not, we don't want to call out downtown because, 
the rule is still re is residential and industrial and business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, we're basically um, we're basically just trying to raise awareness to the policy, you know, to remind people, right, right, right of like shoveling the snow and stuff. We're not trying to to um, yeah call right. anybody out. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, I'll look into that and then we'll keep trying. Okay. Great. And um, you know, if it's easy um, to um, upload, I can create like a folder or something. You can upload it and I can share easily share it with the person I'm uh, working with over there. Okay, cool. Awesome. And the next um, uh, update from the city is about the July 11th screening of Crip Camp at the Senior Center. Yep. At 2 p.m. Yeah, so 2 p.m. We're good to go. Um, uh, I sent out um, paper letters and emails to all the commissions on disability in the area. Um, you know, Amherst, East Hampton, Holyoke, uh, South Hadley, Ware, um, Westfield. Um, and uh, I haven't heard any, any. I only got one email back. Um, uh, okay. Some of these people, they they only check their email. It, I got one response. They only check their email like once a month prior to the meeting. Right. Um, but I did double up the letters and the email. Um, but I I gave a cutoff time of when they would need the RSVP um, sometime in like April, so that we can okay uh, determine um, you know what the uh, parking situation would be and um, and the seating and stuff like that. Um, but that's plenty of time for them, everyone to coordinate. Um, but we have the room from two o'clock um, and we may have to, you know, they close at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. and it seems like they want to have us out of there at 4 p.m. Okay, uh, How and the movie is how long again? Sorry. I got to uh -huh. double check on that, um, but we okay. can... Um, you know, we want to have discussion time, so we'll amend the video if necessary to make sure that we have discussion time. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just wanted to make sure we would have some discussion. That'd be cool. The yeah, movie yeah. is one hour and forty-two minutes. Perfect. Okay, great. Thank you, Ben. Great. A counselor. Yes. Um, did you send out an email to Springfield also, Keith? And I did not. Us? Uh, not Springfield, not Stravos, no. Oh, did you, I was going to ask also, did you send one to Holyoke? Did you mention that? Yes, I did, yeah. You did, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, Councilor Barja didn't didn't send it to Springfield I know, or Stravos. We had one, we invited them and they did come. Oh, very good. Um. Yeah, so I think the the conversation you know, as we get closer, we'll need to determine um, if we need to we'll need to make sure that we are um, uh, meeting open meeting law. So when we get there, um, yeah. so we'll have to open the meeting um, and then uh, then close the meeting per open meeting law, um, and then depending on the RSVPs of everyone else. Uh, they do have light snacks and things that we can get there, but uh, we cannot pay for it out of the funds. Um, that, so it would have to be like a personal donation or something like that. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, I think I think we'll be good to go. Um, you know, once we the next step is to just get the numbers and have a further discussion about those things. Cool, that's very exciting. Marilyn, did you have something? Yeah, what's the date of this event? That's on July 11th. Um, I believe it's a Tuesday. Is that right, Keith? Uh, I'm double checking right now. Yes, it is. It is, yeah. The so Tuesday, July 11th, and it's at 2 p.m.? Correct. Yeah. Yep. At the Senior Center. Yep. And there is parking there. Um, and uh, we'll, we do have... Uh, availability to park or cross the street at the old World War II club now the cheese factory if um, if there is not enough parking um, obviously we we want to keep the closest parking spots for people who have you know uh, handicapped parking placards so I have a question 
Yep. Are, we, are we gonna make like a little um, announcement of what we're doing? Say, you know, the invite and what is on the schedule. So when I want, I want, so that when people come in, it would be handed to them. Yeah, say, I mean, say like I mean, with the filming, sorry. say like with the filming, and also the round table. Maybe we could even get something like a little blurb about it in the Gazette, something like I think that. It's done too. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, you talking about a blurb in the Gazette about the screening of the movie? Do you think that's not a good idea? It's, I mean, it's a limited space. Um, okay. And they, they do want an RSCP, so I want to, you know. Well, gotcha. Yeah, you got. I mean, it is, an open, it is an open. It is an open. It is an open meeting law. Exactly. Open meeting, so people can show up. Um, but gotcha. uh, we want to set up the space and have a an estimate and. Obviously, we're going to post the meeting and anyone can come, um, but uh, I don't, we don't normally advertise our public meetings. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. I was just, yeah, yeah, just thinking out loud. Cool. Anyone else have any questions about that, um, Counselor? No, not about that. Oh. I'm looking at July 11th, at, we're looking at two to four, correct? Yes. That you could go ahead and speak to the Gazette on that there is a resolution coming in from the Commission on Disabilities in Northampton and what it's all about. Okay. Cool, thank you. Yeah. Emma, did I see you have your hand up? Yeah, um, can I ask, does anyone know what the uh, capacity of the space is for the, the movie? I can tell you right now. Okay, I lied. I don't have that information. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure we can find it pretty quickly, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering in terms of having people come to like arrange the room beforehand just to make sure there's spaces for wheelchair users, mobility aid users, that kind of thing. And then um, I don't know exactly what kind of um, accommodations would be useful for like uh, having like subtitles and I don't know if we want to have um, an interpreter. I think you need an interpreter. That would also be good for the discussion if we had an, an interpreter there. Yeah, yes. I think that's a must. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, thank you, Emma. Um, so I'll be setting up the room. Uh, I'll make sure to leave spaces, you know, basically remove a chair um, or one and a half chairs, as it were, kind of distributed throughout the room. Um, and then we do have um, mics um, for hearing loops. These are for people that are hard of hearing that have devices. Um, and then we can, ahead of time, uh, seems like we want the interpretive services, so we'll um, engage with our interpreter and make sure that uh, they're there. Great. Excellent. Okay. Really, I believe that was the last um, other the last item we had anticipated. Um, but if there's any other business that that we did not anticipate that any would like to, anyone would like to talk about, counselor. Yes, um, Rodney Kunath, I, he wants to talk. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Um, hey, well, Rodney. He had emailed me, and I had taken my email and sent it to Keith also. Okay, so great. Speak. 
I don't even know if his interpreter is with him. I it don't, was. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Uh, she, she had an emergency. Oh, okay. Rodney, speak. Speak. I think he's, I think he's muted. It doesn't look like he is. No. Something is keeping him from. Yeah, how come we can't hear him? Can he hear us? Uh, I don't think so. Um, and his interpreter isn't here. Rodney can't be muted because Rodney's um, isn't connected to audio. So there's no audio to mute. But wow. we can't hear anything without Rodney connecting to audio. Do you understand? Him? Oh, I think he's saying, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm hearing what seeing him say, I'm sorry, I don't have an interpreter. I think I thought he said that. But I can't quite tell. I know. Ben, can you figure out what he's saying? No, I, I don't have any more skill there than Jeremy does. What Jeremy said seemed reasonable, but I can't confirm. I'm sorry. If he was, I'm, I know Rodney, if he's in front of me, I, I rip lead with, you know, lip read with him without a problem, but I'm having okay. a problem here. Why, so why can't we hear him? We're not really sure, but he might be, uh, Emma just asked if he can type in the chat. So maybe yes, that will do that. What's he doing? Maybe his volume is down or off. Again, like Rodney that. is not connected to audio, so there's nothing to turn down or turn off. He would have to connect to audio before we could turn it on or off or up or down. Well, we could do a chat, right? Keith, can't you send him something under chat? Uh, Emma already sent uh, Rodney a chat. Okay. I think he said, can you hear me? Can he, I wonder if he can hear us. I don't know how to convey this. Um, although, you know, wait, if Rodney's captions are on, then he can presumably see this as I'm speaking. Rodney, can you see the captions? I think maybe. Um, so, um, Rodney, there is an icon for a microphone and it probably, um, oh, I'm trying to think of what even, I'm going to disconnect from audio so I can see what it looks like when I'm disconnected. Okay. okay. At least on my computer, it looks like a headphones and it says join audio under it. Here we go. It's, it works. Very good. Yep. Still can't hear him. Not quite. It was connecting. <laughs> Almost, Ben. But the connection doesn't look like it finished. We saw it said connecting to audio. And then it stopped. Yeah.
Rodney, you if you try again, if it asks you to choose telephone or computer audio, you need to select computer audio. I wonder if he can. What if we hold up a little sign like Marilyn said? We should see that. There you go, Marilyn. Are you writing one up? Yes. <laughs> Tell me what to say. <laughs> So what are we asking him to do? Oh, oh, okay. Ben's showing. Ben is trying to do something. Yeah, showing. Yeah. It's not necessarily the same on different devices, though. It might look different on Rodney's device. Yeah. Uh, from the screen, it looks like he's on a mobile device. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> At least you tried, Marilyn. <laughs> it's a nice, nice try. It's blurry. Yeah. No, doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> He's not, he said he's not hearing anything. Yeah, he can't hear us either. Well, I'm not, uh, let's see. Yeah. I wonder, <laughs> should we maybe e like try emailing with him and trying this again and, and another time? Or I, I don't want to stress Rodney out. What, Keith, I'd like to talk about the email that he sent me and I sent it to you. What Rodney had sent me an email in regards to changing the hours of the Commission on Disability mm. from 3.30 to 4.30 because we've been apparently having meetings lasting longer. Okay. Over the five o'clock. And I have to agree with Keith. I think the only time we've done that, huh, Keith, was what? Till like seven after five or 10 after five, that was it. So I don't wanna talk for him, but to me that is up to the commission of changing their hours from 3.30 to 4.30 or three to four, whatever, whatever because something about he's working along with Clark School for the Deaf. I don't, it's a historian thing or something like that. I do not know if it's temporary or full-time. And I think we need to know this because if it's a temporary one, then he can just go ahead. If he's gotta be there for 5.30, he could just leave the meeting earlier on our scheduled time.
So I don't know how we're going to get to him on this. Okay. I think, I think Jeremy, you have a very good idea. I think he should be emailed. Okay. And yeah, we'll 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 we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. And if 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 we if um, we do need to move the meeting or any or the meeting time or anything like that, I'm I'm open to that. Whatever everybody wants to do. You know what I mean? I just, you know, so we'll get, we'll, we'll work it out. I'll do it like on a temporary basis. Being a city councilor, we set the time. Okay. I have a lot of meetings. Keith is a busy person also, and I'm not talking for him, but I know he's busy like a lot of our department heads. So uh -huh. I have to look at that timing very carefully. If it's a temporary okay. thing, I don't mind. Okay. And maybe maybe we Especially can bring the like summer because we only have one city council meeting for the month yeah. of July and August. That doesn't bother me. But once we get out of that, you're talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, whatever. Finance committee we have twice a month. We're going into budget hearings. The mayor will be presenting her budget shortly. We step in and do our budget hearing. And no matter what, if we got to cut a department, we're going to cut. If we're not, we're going to leave them alone. So we got a lot coming forth here, but I'm very willing to help them out to the best that I can. Okay, cool. That sounds great. And I think we can like email with, with Rodney and then we'll follow up at the next meeting on this issue. Okay. Right. That's, that sounds good. Ask him if this is a permanent time with him at, at Clark School or a temporary thing that they're working on. And if it is, he can leave the meeting earlier. Okay, great. Uh, so just uh, add that um, the interpreter should be here next month. Um, and then just be careful that when we do discuss anything outside of this meeting, yeah. that is, um, we don't have a serial conversation. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, one or two people um, could email Rodney, but we cannot take that information and then mm -hmm. um, go Maybe. go and talk to someone else. Right. Maybe Keith, you can email him. Sure. Okay, cool. And then Keith, just let me know how that goes and, and it right. will we we can follow up with it at the next meeting if we have yep. to. Okay, cool. That way everybody's safe, Jeremy. Awesome. Okay, uh, does anyone else have anything that you'd like to discuss before we adjourn? Is there a motion to adjourn the meeting? Move to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay, um, the meeting is adjourned.